All right, I don't normally do tutorials for World of Tanks, but I have a request from one of my viewers uh, who had questions about crew training and premium tanks and all that good stuff. So tonight we're going to take a look at what are premium tanks, what is crew training, what does all this mean? Um, there's a lot to it. It's a little bit confusing, and I'm going to do my best to explain it <laughs> in an order. An organized fashion and for those of you that know how I am <laughs> I'm not the most organized person in the world uh, and I oftentimes oh just screw things up so <laughs> here we go <laughs> okay let's say you buy a new tank we're gonna start out simple here I'm gonna try to see if I I don't even know if I have a new tank to show you well we can go with the sorrel now they already have perks I'm trying to find one that doesn't have any perks yet so you buy a new tank and it's a cute little shiny tank. It's tier three. And you get it, and your crew has no experience. If I go to my light tanks, maybe I'll find something that has like a... There we go. And you're going to notice... Wow, how did I get the T6? I don't even remember how. Okay, well, whatever. You'll notice that the crew has a 50% here. See all these 50, 55? Now, the commander uh, has some kind of perk that's making these guys have 55%. That could be because this is a premium tank. But they start off with crappy percentages. And what that means is these guys are terrible tankers right now. Um, for example, example <laughs> this is going to go so well. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> okay, but let's get back on focus here, guys. <laughs> your, your gunner. This is the guy that loads, not the gunner, the loader, okay? It takes this guy, and he's at 50%, it might take him 10 seconds to reload the gun. Well, when he gets to be 100% or 105% if you get, you know, a vent or something, he's going to get down to 6 seconds maybe, 5 seconds. He will improve vastly on his ability to reload. Um, when you have a tank that has a driver, in this case, I think this is our driver here. Yes, he's the driver. Uh, this guy is going to be able to make the tank turn faster. It's going to run at its top speed. When he is not experienced, it's going to be slow. You're going to have problems with mobility, okay? So, now we take this tank into a battle. When we come back, we get a screen that tells us the amount of money that we made, and there's also a thing that we earn called experience, okay? When I, have, when I come back out of battle, um, the experience that I earn is going to go towards this research. Okay, you'll have the research, but really what this star is is it's experience that you've earned. Okay, so you see, when I put my mouse over it, it says experience. So each battle, let's say you do well in battle, we've had a decent battle, and we come in and we have 500 experience. All right? So that 500 experience, part of that goes towards training your crew. These guys, let's say you had a really good battle and you got a thousand experience and it's got a, a special weekend. It's got a 3x multiplier or 5x multiplier. You come out with 5,000 experience. Well, this tank is going to get 5,000 experience over here, but some of that experience is going to go to your crew and you're going to see these guys bump up from, let's say, 92% to 93%. They're going to go up a percentage point because they've gotten more experience. Now, that last 3% takes forever. You'll notice that. To get a crew from 50 to 75% takes like three battles. To get a crew from 75% to like 98% takes <laughs> another 20 battles. And then to get the guys from 98% to 100% takes like another 20 battles. It takes a long time to get the guys to 100%. Once your crew reaches 100%, okay, stay with me, they get what are called perks. Okay, we're going to go back to my medium tanks here and we're going to go to the, I have a very good crew in the T-54. You're going to notice here on the right side, you have these perks. You have, this guy's got uh, recon, camouflage, and he's working on six cents, okay? Skills and perks are two different things. Some things come into play as soon as you start them. So, like, this dude has 80% camouflage. He is using the camo perk, but it's not perfect yet because he's only at 80%. However, this guy's learning six cents. It never works, and it will not work until it reaches 100%. Same thing is true with Brothers in Arms. Uh, if you got guys, if you have your, and you have to have your entire crew. Some perks, like Brothers in Arms, every single crew member has to have it at 100% for it to work. If I give two guys in my tank Brothers in Arms, the, it's not going to function at all. You have to have every single guy that has it. So 
Um, <clears throat> another thing like camouflage, even though some guys camouflage still works, even if not everybody has it, but the more people have it, the better your camouflage is going to be. If you have an entire crew that has camouflage at a hundred percent, you're going to have a tank. that's very difficult to spot. My scorpion crew is an example. They all have a hundred percent camouflage and I can fire the gun on my scorpion and not get spotted because the crew is that good with the camouflage. Um, so what we do is I'm going to click on this and you're going to see what it brings up. We, we're going to look into this guy's personal. If I right click the guy and I say personal file, you can see here these are the perks that I've chosen for him. I can reset them. I lose some experience when I do that unless I use gold. Uh, but you know, as your guy gets better and better, once he reaches 100%, you have the option to start adding these different perks in. And you know that's going to be under the skills here. You can have all these different there's brothers in arms. That's what I was talking about. Mentor, jack of all trades. These things all help your soldier do better and it also helps your tank perform better my favorites and i gotta tell you some tanks really need this the driver perks are my favorite perks if i go here all these guys have the same repairs camouflage firefighting brothers in arms but they each get their own individual perks also the driver gets controlled impact eh, it's okay preventative maintenance that's a good thing to have but my biggest thing for especially for heavy tank drivers is clutch braking Clutch braking allows you to turn the tank faster. Once you're in it, it it comes into this one comes into effect as he's learning. So right now he's 54%. He's learned this perk. When he gets to 100%, he'll be better at it. He's good at it now, but he'll get even better. And what the crazy thing is, is it actually makes the tank traverse faster. This is a big deal, especially in heavy tanks that turn slowly. You can really whip them around a lot better if you have this plus. The other big perk here is going to be your off-road driving. This allows you to run the tank faster on all kinds of different surfaces. Smooth ride helps you to shoot while you're driving. So this, these are all skills that my driver has. Um, and those things are very important to making your tank good. The more skills and perks that you have in a tank, the better the tank is going to do. And oftentimes you'll hear me say, let's say I'm doing a review, and I've talked about this before on the KV-220. When I run my KV-220, I'm always talking about how great this tank is. Well, in general, right now I don't have a great crew in it, but in general, when I do really well in this tank, it's because I'm running a, my IS crew and they have three perks each. This tank really needs a good crew to perform well. If I don't have a good crew in it, it doesn't do as well. So the, the crew, you know, you might have a tank and not like it, but what my, I guess I'm getting at is give it a chance because as the crew gets better, you are going to have a better experience with that tank. So that brings us full circle now. What is a premium tank? What, what's the purpose of the premium tanks? Yeah, they make more money. But you often hear about, you, you'll often hear me talk about crew training, okay? So basically what that means is this. As I am driving my T-54, my crew earns experience. At the beginning of the day when I haven't run this tank, there's a 2x available. I will play this tank until I get my 2x. Okay, so my guys have earned experience. However, they only earn a portion of that. Now, let's say I get the tank completely upgraded. Okay, once this tank on my research tree has all of these things changed from regular to researched, and you can see here there's no greens left. Everything I, I have the entire T44 completely researched out and I've also completely researched the T-54, okay? So what that means to me is that I can now, this tank is what is called elited, okay? Once this tank is elited, I can check this accelerate crew training checkbox. You'll notice on the T-54, I do not have the T-54 researched all the way. I still need the motor and I still need the best gun or the gun for the T-62. Uh, and I don't have either of these tanks researched. So I still have things that aren't done. So that little box is not available. Let's go back to the T-44. Once this becomes available, I can check this. And my crew starts earning all of the free experience. No more experience goes to the tank. It all goes right to the crew. So now my crew can learn really fast. Well, what the benefit of the premium tank is, is that you'll notice the premium tank already has this because there is nothing to research. So immediately one of the benefits, and when I talk about training, one of the benefits of having a premium tank is that 
you can train your crews the full experience from every battle. The second thing that you'll notice is while my T-54 still has its 2X available, so does my T-54 first prototype premium tank. So let's say I run these guys in battle until I get my win. Let's say my win, I've earned three, I earn a thousand experience. But because I have the double, it's worth 2,000 experience. Well, that's really cool. That's a lot of experience for my crew. But I don't get all of it because the tank's not all the way out. Well, now I take these guys. I send them to the barracks. Okay. I come over to my T-54 first prototype, and I find my crew. Here they are. T-54, T-54, and last but not least, T-54. Oh, and look at this. So now these guys are in this tank. When I take it out, look, my 2X is still available on this premium T-54 first prototype. Now, let's say I really want to make some more experience with these guys. Well, I can then take them out of the first prototype and put them in my Matilda 4, which has the same crew layout. Now they get another 2X. So in conceivably in one night, if I do well in all three tanks, I could earn 10,000 experience that goes directly to my crew. Now do you understand? It makes sense now that you do this because your your crew is going to get better faster. So when I say crew training, that is what I'm talking about. You take your crew out of your T-54 or whatever tank you're running and you put them in your premium tank and they run the premium tank and they get the bonuses. Okay. Now, the premium tanks, oops, hold on. Another thing that the premium tanks is where I'm getting, I think I gotta remember where I'm going. Another thing with the premium tanks that they have over this tank is that for every battle that you play, they earn 50% more experience per battle. So not only do you get the double once, but for every battle you run your crew in, if, you, if I take my T-54 crew and return them to this vehicle, they're going to earn 50 more 50% more than a standard tank in battle. So let's say I earn a thousand experience in a battle. These guys are going to walk away with 1500 experience. They don't. That was weird. My client froze up for a second. Okay. Um, they don't, they don't get the, you know, the extra 50% bonus. So a nice thing about all these premium tanks is that they all give you an extra 50% bonus on your crew training. So <laughs> it's really important that you have at least one, premium tank if you want your crews to get good fast. You don't have to do this, but it really helps. It really does help the crews get better faster, which is one of the reasons why I have crews that have three perks. And I've got lots of crews that have lots of perks. Now, I wanted to show you this too, okay? Um, taking a look at Shisersant Marat Golalovich. <laughs> Golalovich. Uh, Sergeant Marat Golalovich. He's a sergeant here. Um, he has reached 100%. This is what I was talking about. Now, it shows 105% because I have the vents. It gives you a 5% increase. But he's 100%. As soon as he reaches 100%, you'll see this little plus sign appear. That means that you can add a perk. And so we're going to go look at this guy. And uh, I'm going to say probably for this tank, uh, I'm not going to... I don't know if I'll use this crew. I don't know. We'll see. But we have all these options available. He can have the common which you can give to all your guys. Once again, Brothers in Arms has to have every crew member. Repairs, though, can help. Camouflage can help. Now, because he's a commander, he has commander-specific perks like Recon, which will give you maximum range. Mentor, which gives you a boost in... Um, it's kind of like the vents. It helps your other crew members do better. Jack of all trades helps. If a crew member gets killed, um, you can... You know, this guy will sub in for him. So if you lose somebody, it helps you not lose uh, performance. Like if the gunner gets killed or something, this guy will keep the tank rolling at full capacity. He can, so that's a really cool perk. Eagle eye, uh, it identifies the crits that you've done. It's kind of a waste. If, if, if you have nothing left to get, you're on your 18th perk, <laughs> you might want to consider this one, but it really doesn't help you that much. It, it, it's a cool thing, but it, it just tells you what damage you did. It's not that great of a, a help. Uh, six cents. This is uh, to let you know when you're spotted. So those are all commander things. And then last but not least, this guy doubles as a radio operator because there is no radio operator in this tank. So you can see here we have several different options for that also. You have situational awareness, which once again extends your view range, call for vengeance, uh, signal boosting and relaying. Those are all perks that are available. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, the, that's what it looks like when you do it. And so let's, let's pick one. Um, we're going to throw this guy. I really like recon for medium tanks because they need to be able to spot things. A lot of times you have to play the scout. There you go. So now he has 0%, but as we do battles, he will earn more. And if I throw him in a premium tank, he'll earn it faster. Right now he is in a premium tank. He'll, he'll go up to 50%, 100% a lot faster than if he was in a regular tank. So that is crew training in a nutshell in a premium tank. Now, the other thing that you need to know about premium tanks, and this is very important, you don't want to take, when you buy a premium tank, it's going to come with a crew, okay? So if I, when I bought this T-54, or when uh, Wallace bought this for me, uh, it had a crew that came with it. And you know what I did with those guys? They were 50% crew. I pitched them. <laughs> I got rid of the T-54 first prototype crew. When I got the Matilda 4, I got rid of the Matilda 4 crew. The only crew that I kept was the Rudy crew. Because they had special perks already. They all had brothers in arms, and they had this doggy. <laughs> so uh, I kept all of the, the uh, these things because um, these guys actually had a value. But in general, when you buy premium tanks, let's say like the Matilda, um, the crew that it comes with is going to have no perks. They're going to be at 50%. Maybe they'll be at 100%, but still, that's not the point. You don't need a crew for this tank because you're going to be using your other crew. So here's the rules. If I take, here we go, this crew, that's my T-54 crew, and I want to move them into a premium tank, I cannot move them into, well, I can, but it's not going to work well. I can't move them into the Churchill without having some issues because they're a medium crew. However, I can move them into my T-54 first prototype, my Rudy, and my Matilda 4 because they're Russian and they're mediums, okay? So once again, the tank has to be from the same country and it has to be from the same class, okay? And you can only do this with premium tanks. I can't take my T-54 crew and put them back into the T-44 once they've been trained for the T-54. It does not work that way. They will have a big performance hit. You'll notice that if I try to put, here I got my T-44 guy. If I take him and I try to put this Object 140 guy in here, you're going to notice he's got a, even though he's a 100% guy, he goes down to 75%. So he loses, he has a 25% negative bonus or a 25% loss, if you will, because he cannot, you, you can't run him in this tank. He's not trained for it. However, I can, I'm can. i going to put the T-44 guy back in. If I go over to my Matilda and I grab that same Object 140 commander, you'll notice that his number stays at, well, it goes up because I have a vent, but it stays at 100%. It no longer is red. So you can take any regular, plain old, non-premium, medium tank commander or crew member from a Russian tank, a medium tank, and put them in the Matilda. Here's, there's no other guys left. I don't have anybody in there, but I have this guy and I have this guy. So I can load these guys into this tank. They don't get any penalty, even though they're not trained on the Matilda. They're still trained on the Object 140. I'm not getting any, any hit. So the idea is this. You have your regular tanks, and then you move those regular guys into your premium tanks to train. So that's the whole idea behind the premium tank. I hope that helps people understand it a little bit better. Like I said, it, I'm, I'm not great at explaining these things. That's why I don't have a lot of tutorial videos for World of Tanks out there because it takes me a long time to get to where I'm going, obviously. <laughs> but I think that that's a concise look at how it works. You definitely want to keep it within class. So heavy tank drivers go from a heavy and non-premium tank to a heavy premium tank um, or not drivers. See, that's where I can come into the problems because I say the wrong words. <laughs> Crew members. Um, they, you know, they're going to... Man, this guy. Now I'm stuck here. That's not what I want to do. Um, I want to... Hey, let's send the whole group to the barracks, yes. <laughs> there we go. Boop. So we empty the tank out. Um, so... So once again, rules for the road. Premium tanks 
give you the ability to train your crew faster by giving you the chance to have more than one 2x per night or times two per night. And on weekends when there's times five or times three, you can run your crew in each of these tanks and they'll pick up the times three for each tank. So they earn and learn a lot faster. Premium tanks also give you a bonus on experience at 50% more. So for every battle that you run, you get 50% more experience. Premium tanks have, since they're already fully researched, you can accelerate crew training. So all experience that you earn in the Matilda 4 goes directly to your crew, or any any premium tank for that matter. It doesn't have to be the Matilda 4. Uh, last but not least, the rules are that you can only move crew members from the same type of tank from the same nation. So Russian light drivers go to Russian light tanks. Russian goes to an American premium tank. So, for example, the T-29 you're going to put those guys in the T-34. M103, those guys are going to go in the T-34 for training. So hopefully that makes things a little bit clearer, and I haven't muddled the water anymore. <laughs> this is a, a, a shout-out to uh, Mr. Man out there, uh, Dennis, who was asking me to make the tutorial, and so hopefully that helps you, Dennis, and anybody else who has an interest in this and trying to figure out why the heck you would want the premium tanks. To be honest with you, the biggest perk is that they make more money. <laughs> it's nice, you know, when I need money, I run these tanks and I earn a lot of money doing it. But they have that um, added benefit of giving you the crew experience and the crew training. And that is a very important factor for these tanks because you really do need to have trained crews. So anyway, thank you for being part of this channel. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, I will see you guys on the battlefield.